I've been wandering our earth for 41 years now in search of the perfect camera, and it has not come to me. I have seen nothing even close to what I came here for. I arrived in a spaceship, wasn't even a good spaceship. I have arthritis now, I'm thirsty. I've been in through the desert. It's not coming. We're getting further and further away from the goals. But there's two hopeful potentials. There's only two cameras on this earth right now that would spark even the minorest amount of joy to keep me pushing forward. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. My needs are simple. Not even a hard ask here. We're looking for really nice 1080p and some slow-mo. Maybe a little stab on there, a nice look, something with character to it. A little like some love in the footage baked in. You can turn it off if you want. I think there's only two. I've looked at all brands. I've tried so many cameras. Nothing sparks joy. We got the Canon EOS R. That's the most joy I've had in a long time. It's just plug and go. Right out of camera, you put a LUT on there. It, it's okay. It's respectable. It's a respectable shot. Battery life, fantastic. Everything else just has problems. It brings more heat to the situation. Sony Color Science will just rip flesh from my bones. Rumor has it Sony Perfected Skin Tones is coming in a firmware update, but only to the ZV-E10 and below. Not the flagship. Here's the reality. I would kill a baby unicorn for this camera. It's the only camera I know of in existence doing what I've asked and it, it was already done many, many years ago. I don't care that killing a baby unicorn opens up a portal and whatever comes through there, I will film it on this thing and this shot will be ours. The Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera, original. It's got a 1080p, two megapixel sensor, 16 by nine. Oh man, it's a tiny boy. It's a Super 16 size. It's smaller than a one inch sensor. That hurts. And the battery life, it lasts about 12 minutes. You gotta rig that thing up. I don't know that I could even do it. There's no viable option. The lens choices for like a one inch sensor with that crop. Oh man, the pain. There's no flippy screen. You'd have to get a monitor or maybe a tiny mirror pointing up. Filming, manual focus. It could be done. There's a focal reducer. I've seen the deal. I might bounce. There's a deal on the table right now for 850 Canadian dollars for this camera and the Nikon focal reducer. It's 0.58 times a specially designed focal reducer. He actually has it. It's pretty rare. They don't sell either of these things and nobody's in a factory. A factory? Oh man. I combined manufacturing with factory. It's a thing. Just live with it. It's not continued anymore. I could have that. So you get that plus the 20 mil 1.8 gives you like a 33 mil Tony 3. It's awkward. And could I ever focus on myself with it? I, I don't know. Or you go with the black magic. No, the SLR magic. 12 mil, Tony 1.6, manual focus, and then you remember where it was, boom, and then you're always in focus. You can never see yourself, unless you get a monitor with a V-mount battery, D-tap it. I'll D-tap your mom. It would be the dumbest purchase of 2023, but I could also use my Leica 200 mil, can you even believe it, right on there, stabilized. Could I focus on it with just a back screen and like, six minute battery life out in the Canadian tundra. I'd have to bring eight of them with me or a little portable power brick. Oh man, the squirrel action. We need that in our lives, don't we? That would bring joy. I've debated the Blackmagic 4K. It's just, it's not as magical an image as the 1080p and that's two megapixel glory that we need. That's, it was done right. It was a special look. And then the 4K, it's nice, it's filmic, but not as filmic. It's not 70s filmic. That's a Fuji vintage shirt waiting to be ironed. 
the original do you have one if you are withholding the cinema from me that's on you that's on you you send it i will pay customs and shipping you send i use that's our deal you couldn't really vlog with it you'd have to get the only lens is the nikon 10 to 20 or something and with my focal reducer it would be somewhat viable but it has image stave in the lens but focusing on yourself that's a nightmare so i would have to like plan out a focus like from my hip to the foot focus and then that better be the length of my arm and if it's not i blame god so as much of a pain in the ass as that would be to film youtube videos or vlog or wildlife it would be so irritating to my soul the cinema would be ours and it might be worth it i'm totally considering pouncing i might have already pounced by the time i upload this video the only other camera that is even mildly entertaining to my thought patterns would be the canon c70 for some reason with the speed booster and this lens 24 mil 1.4 would be almost full frameish only the dynamic range beauty the only exciting part of that sensor is dual gain technology hdr like in its abilities so much dynamic range for a super 35 and then you're speed boosting with a vintage 3d pop lens it does do 4k 120p zero stabe that would be a problem it would literally just be for youtube videos it's so much money it's so not worth it that or the canon c500 mark ii that's full frame ef mount just this lens right on there 6k raw for this i think i would rather have the black magic original than the c70 if they were both offered to me and i'm like i think it would be funnier to have the black magic because i just have this old thing from like 2012 whenever it was released 2013 is when it was released I was just looking up like what else was released around that time. The Sony NEX 3N. That's what Sony, can you imagine the color science of that piece of shit? Oh boy. APS-C 16 megapixels for what? For what? It would just be such a pain in the ass to source all these things because like nobody's making accessories for that anymore just buying a cage for it this guy had the cage but he sold the cage you, yeah. so trying to find a cage for that and then a battery solution do you really want a v mount and a monitor and then you're detapping once you had it all set up it might be a bit big looking but it would be totally like the longest lasting battery ever and like the best flippy screen you've ever seen and then you get the best image and it's like, holy cow, I am leaning hard. Whereas the C70, it's so expensive. It would be the dumbest thing just for this. I would never take it outside once. I have zero plans to get the 100 to 500 and oh, wildlife with this. Never. But that is the state of our current society. There's nothing exciting. It's a TikTok world and there's no hope for anything fun or vintage to come our way. It's just all modern vertical slits of homeless hell i don't want the shorts i'm not putting them out there all i know is i would love to have a movie camera designed for movies for once so i can make a movie already i would make one oh, oh hey henry funny seeing you here i know i i borrowed your battery i haven't returned it i'm so sorry it's around here somewhere you're not going to kill me, are you? <sighs> he lives here. I really should. If I'm getting a black magic, I should go for the 4K. It's so dumb to get the original, but it's so special. It would just... The 4K would be so much more versatile. It actually has 120 frames per second. The other one doesn't. So I could actually use that for wildlife. That screen might even be nice with Leica with that but the original's funnier so should I buy it let me know down below which of those three would you buy 
Blackmagic Original, 4K, or Canon C70, or C500 Mark III, two. I saw a C300 Mark I for 500. I was like, looking it up, the files apparently, they're not right or something. You can't like edit them. I don't know. That was a deal breaker. Maybe I misread it and I could have had it for 500. Oh man, it's gone. I suck at pouncing on deals. I'm going to leave. Are you buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt? In vintage white. You're not? Subscribe for more videos. See you on the next one.